ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेल्व ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन द फादर्स ऑर्डर्स आर बिकम सोल कॉन्सियस बिकम प्योर एंड इनेबल एवरी वन एल्स टू बिकम प्योर let your intellect have faith and claim your full inheritance from the father question at the end when leaving their bodies who will cry out in distress answer those who don't die alive and make full effort and don't claim their full inheritance will cry out in distress at the end question why is there so much fighting and quarreling and partisan etc at this time answer they have all forgotten their real father and have become orphans they have forgotten the mother and father from whom they received so much happiness they say that he is omnipresent and this is why they continue to fight and quarrel among themselves song salutations to seva om shanti who said this om shanti the soul said it through the physical organ of this body the soul is imperishable and the body is perishable the soul sets a body and takes another the maximum number of births that a soul takes is 84 this is called the cycle of 84 births not everyone takes 84 births no people don't know these things you heard in the song salutations to seva the highest on high is the supreme soul seva He is the resident of the incorporeal world, where all of us souls also reside. Below that is the subtle reason. You heard the praise of God, the highest on high. Salutations to Seva. You are the mother, the father, the friend, and the support. This is his praise. They then say salutations to the deity Brahma. That one is the creator and this one is a creation. Then there is this human world. Only in this human world do you become pure and impure. People are pure in the golden age and impure in the iron age. They are used to be deities in Bharat 5000 years ago. All of them were human beings. But they were full of all virtues. 16 celestial degrees full. This is their praise. There is no violence there. They don't indulge in vice there. they are said to be completely wiseless wishes people sing their praise you are full of all virtues whereas we are degraded sinners they remember god but no one knows him and so they are all orphans people sing you are the mother and father 
from whom we receive a lot of happiness then when ravan's kingdom begins all human beings forget the father and become impure orphans they continue to fight among themselves everywhere you look there is nothing but fighting and quarreling there are so many partisans in heaven there was just the one kingdom of lakshmi and narayan the people of bharat were the masters of the whole world now it is all divided into pieces that ocean is yours and this one is ours that land is yours and this is ours punjab up rajasthan etc they have all become separated there is so much fighting even over language because they don't know the mother and father from beyond this world when bharat was heaven none of these things existed it is now to become heaven again the father sits here and explains how this world cycle turns the unlimited father tells you children you have become so senseless you say o supreme father supreme soul however you don't even know his biography the father is the purifier the bestower of salvation you know that those people say that god is omnipresent how can you receive the inheritance by calling him omnipresent the father who can give the inheritance is definitely needed when you ask children where their physical father is would they say that he is omnipresent the unlimited father is the creator all devotees call out to him o purifier sib baba kam and make us impure ones pure come and make us pure ones again just like the people in heaven were we are very unhappy all human beings begin to become impure at the time ravan's kingdom begins they continue to stumble from door to door they believe that god is in everyone they have idols made of stone and they think that god is god is in them too oh but how could god be in a stone he resides in the supreme abode they make so many images and then when those images become old they throw them away that is the worship of dolls they say oh baba grant us salvation the bestower of salvation for all is only the one purifier sib baba alone all human beings have forgotten who god really is yet everyone remembers him he is the husband of all husbands and the father of all fathers the father says children now become pure you souls have now become pure alloy is mixed in you by alloy being mixed into real gold 
the value of the gold is reduced so this world is also tamo pradhan when you were first in the golden age you were completely wiseless then silver alloy was mixed in and then copper and then you came into the iron age so is continue to become pure they have now become completely iron age the same bharat that was satu pradhan has now become tamo pradhan those who existed at the beginning are the ones who definitely have to take 84 births christians come later they cannot take 84 births at the most they would take 35 to 40 births the life span of the world is now coming to an end and it will then become new again there is happiness in the new world and sorrow in the old world an old building is demolished everyone in the old world is unhappy it is only the father who makes everyone happy all the souls in the golden age were happy all the rest of the souls were in the land of peace that is called the silence world there is the silence world and then the subtle world there are no bodies there so how could souls make any sound now all souls are tamo pradhan and that is why this is called the iron age at first you were in the golden age and the father has now come once again to take you to the golden age he changes human beings into deities in the golden age both men and women remain pure that is called the kingdom of rama it is now the kingdom of ravan they continue to use the sword of lust on one another and make one another unhappy god says children lust is a great enemy it is this that has caused you unhappiness you children have continued to fall now no degrees remain the father has now come to make you 16 celestial degrees full again here you don't have to leave your homes and families as sanyasis do in order to go to the pure world you definitely do have to become pure in this last birth those who become pure through the father will become the masters of the pure world you children have come here to the father this is the head office where everyone comes the father from beyond this world says to souls children now become soul conscious souls also say yes baba we will definitely obey your orders we will become pure this is shrimat it is by following shrimat that you are to become elevated you have become corrupt by following the dictates of ravan therefore the soul says through this body oh baba i now belong to you the father says i have to come to grant you all salvation in order to make you into charitable souls from sinful souls therefore you definitely do have to become pure only when you first become pure and become brahma kumars and kumaris can you then claim the inheritance of the happiness of heaven from sri baba 
you have come once again to claim your inheritance from the father you belong to the deity religion and have taken 84 births those deities don't exist now the deities who became impure will come and become pure those who came later brackets after the silver age cannot go to heaven those of the deity religion who have taken the full 84 birth full 84 births are to become deities once again baba says i come and make you into deities through brahma you cannot become deities without becoming pure only those who come and become brahma kumars and kumaris will understand these things prajapita brackets father of humanity has been remembered there are the world father and world mother of the human world how would they have so many children you are now a mouth born creation all of you say mama baba how did you become the children say baba made you belong to him through brahma you remember say baba in order to claim your inheritance of heaven from him therefore all brahma kumars and kumaris are brothers and sisters this is a tactic baba says you may live at home with your families but become as pure as a lotus flower demonstrate this There is no question of leaving your homes and families. Look after your creation. Simply remain pure and you will become like those deities once again. Establishment of the deity religion definitely has to take place. The father sits here and personally explains to you children this Madhavan is the head of us. so many centers continue to open those who became brahma kumars and kumaris in the previous cycle will become brahmins and then deities warriors merchants and sudras you now have to become brahmins once again there is the top knot of brahmins you have to pass through these clans the father says you were deities you have now become brahmins from sudras in order to become deities once again you are becoming pure it is said a kumari is one who uplifts 21 generations all of you are brahma kumars and kumaris there has to be both kumars and kumaris you so everyone the way to constant happiness for 21 generations come to our land of happiness this is a land of sorrow you now have to remember the father the father says become pure and constantly remember me alone don't remember any bodily beings the father sits here and gives you children a lot of happiness there is so much sorrow now it is only when people are in sorrow that they remember god the father takes you to heaven so why would you remember him there they say oh god oh stick for the blind however they don't know anything they would even go in front of the lakshmi and narayan idols and say 
you are the mother and father however they are the masters of heaven they cannot be the mother and father of everyone krishna was from one kingdom and radhe was from another kingdom and then they became engaged their name changed after their marriage they became lakshmi and narayan the dual form of vishnu at deep mala brackets festival of lights they invoke mahalakshmi that is the form of a couple you have now come off the pyre of lust and are sitting on the pyre of knowledge you are true brahmins you inspire them to make a promise of purity the unlimited father says become pure and you will become the masters of the pure world you can remember him even while sitting at home baba says all of you have to come home to me everyone has to die this is the same mahabharat war there is that war with the yavanas there is no war etc in the golden age the father says you have to conquer this ravan it is not a question of any other war the mahabharat war will also take place and only a few will be saved bharat is an imperishable land all the rest of the lands will be destroyed the father will take everyone back home the father grants everyone salvation he takes all souls back home with him you are now claiming your inheritance from the father sanyasis cannot give this they are not the creators of heaven heaven is now being established all the human beings of hell will be destroyed everyone has to die so why not claim your inheritance while you are alive otherwise you will cry in distress people will awaken from the impure sleep of kumbhakarna at the end you now have the knowledge of the whole cycle in your intellects you were worthy of worship and have become worshipers and you will then become worthy of worship again there were pure kings and also impure kings now there are no kings it is now government of the people by the people the world has to go around the cycle again you have to go to the golden age sib baba says through the mouth of this one you are my children you also say baba be our your children you are a mouth one creation you are god's family god speaks remember the one father all of us souls will go to the sweet home where baba resides baba will then send us to sweet heaven there is peace and happiness there you have come here to claim your inheritance of purity happiness and peace this study is for 21 births you are not studying for here this is a land of death you are becoming immortal by listening to the story of immortality from the lord of immortality 
those who come and understand the father will make a promise of purity they will then come and claim their inheritance many will continue to become brahma kumars and kumaris day by day centers will continue to open sudras will continue to become brahmins acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna number 1 in order to claim your inheritance of heaven from the father look after your creation and become as pure as a lotus while living at home with your family second so everyone the way to become happy for 21 generations sit on the pyre of knowledge and change from sudras to brahmins and then to deities blessing may you be knowledgeful and finish any feeling of dislike by becoming a master ocean of love the children who are knowledgeful that is those who are knowledgeable are master oceans of love for everyone they have nothing but love nowadays even more than physical wealth there is a greater need for love so become a master ocean of love and uplift those who defame you just as the father has mercy and benevolent feelings for all the children in the same way you children who are merciful and oceans of forgiveness like the father cannot have any feelings of dislike for anyone slogan to finish all limitations and adopt an unlimited drishti brackets vision and attitude is the basis of unity om shanti